Hello and welcome to this video on wildcards. Wildcards are a valuable tool to use as they search for multiple spelling variations simultaneously, helping you save time. There are three wildcards you can use on EBSCO, the asterisk, the question mark and the hash. The asterisk is used for truncation, i.e. to find different endings for terms, such as the singular and the plural. To use this, enter the first part of the term up until where it changes and then add an asterisk. For example, if I enter, This will find terms such as therapy, therapist and therapist. Let's take a look at the results. We can see here examples where therapy has been used. We can also see therapeutic. And we also have therapies. Next, we have the question mark, which is used to find terms which have the same amount of letters, but a letter in the same place is different. For example, randomized and specialized, which can be spelt with an S or a Z. This is a useful wildcard for finding American and British spellings at the same time, as well as finding unusual plurals such as woman and women. Let's use organization as an example. To use enter your term, placing the question mark where the letter would be different, like so. Here we can see examples of organisation spelt with a Z. And organisation spelt with an S. The final wildcard is the hash, which is also useful for finding British and American variations. The hash is for terms which could be spelt with or without an extra letter, for example, paediatrics or haematology. To use, type in your term entering the hash where the extra letter could be, for example. Here we can see tumour spelled T-U-M-O-U-R and tumour spelled T-U-M-O-R. Please note if you are using the Ovid website for literature searching that the question mark and hash are used the other way around. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions on EBSCO, please see the help section just at the top here, or contact your site library.